According to the World Health Organization, we are nearing the end of the emergency phase of the COVID-19 pandemic. At least 63.6% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19, according to data from the CDC. ABC's Christy Sloan has more. With new cases falling across the country, the U.S. is seemingly approaching a transition. The World Health Organization says we're nearing the end of the emergency phase in the pandemic. Health experts say the virus will remain, but that we have what we need to live with it. The virus isn't going away. We may see future surges. But I think the restrictions, the mandates, a lot of those are going to really start easing. And what that means is when we see future surges, um, we're going to have to deploy the tools we have, vaccines, tests, et cetera, to get through them. For now, those tools are the first line of defense as the U.S. continues to push back against the Omicron surge. More than 40 U.S. states and territories are reporting decreasing or plateauing new case averages. But 99 percent of U.S. counties are still reporting high transmission. Utah Senator Mitt Romney is one of the latest people to get sick. His office says he's asymptomatic and will isolate and work remotely. Meantime, many hospitals around the country continue to face overwhelming numbers of patients. A shortage in staff trying to get everything where like, we don't have beds. We're boarding in the ER, just trying to make everything fit. Six. It's, it's hectic. And the CDC continues to stress the importance of a third shot. A new study finds they increase protection against hospitalization by about 15 percent. And for those with compromised immune systems, about 19 percent. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.